I just wanted to update because I know a lot of people have been following me for a long time and I really appreciate all of your support and appreciate the message, the fact that you know you are inspired and in you because of my video and my content, um, there was a decisions that you made which inspired yourself or the fact that you made a different decision that affects your life positively and I'm glad that I could be the opportunity to to guide the way, or you know, I could be the opportunity for you to to see something in a different, you know, from from a different angle, from a different perspective. Because I believe that perspective is everything. I hope that I don't break the the microphone because of this sage. But today, ooh, we are going to just do like this. All right. You know what? Let's drink matcha. I think I should have collected some questions on Instagram or something, but I just got a matcha. I don't know. You can see it. I know we're just gonna have a chat. Sorry. All right, let's get started. So let's name this, let's title this video is gonna be, let's chill on the couch with show. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna chill, drinking tea, like a hints, you know, I like that guy. I think he's a genius and very, very creative. And speaking of creative, you know how spontaneous I am in this video? And this is literally the key to be creative because without being spontaneous, if you like put yourself in a box and following the rules of the society and of yourself or whatever the pattern that you have, you never be creative. You have to be spontaneous. You just have to, oh, let's drink matcha. That's how you stay creative. That's how you become so creative with the new ideas that are just, you know, somewhere in the universe and you just catch it. I've learned that the psychedelic mushroom, mushroom is, is actually holding the law of information and data. And it makes sense. In, in human history, the best ideas actually was born in toilet and shower and meditation and all that kind of thing. But very interesting because I actually made Hayao Miyazaki's you know, like a kind of like introduction video. I, w I w just wanted to share because it's, it's very personal to me. I was so inspired because of the newest video that he released and I questioned myself so many times, like how do I want to live? Or if you don't know how Miyazaki, by the way, just go go ahead and watch my videos. Um, it's the one before. He's the he's a legend in, in animation. He's a legend in the movie industry. I forgot the exact name of this, uh, the person who studied and researched the quantum physics, but he said, if you change the way you look at things, the things that we, the things that you're looking at changes. And it's very interesting that we, the moment that you understand and know him or the history or the message behind a little bit deeper, then you, you know, again, you watch the same movie and it's completely different. So I was traveling for about six months and I decided to come back to Japan, and that's, a, that's this video about. I was in Costa Rica, and I went to Costa Rica fast forward and stay, stayed there for like a, uh, a month. And then I went to Miami, then New York, and then I stayed, I stayed in New York for a month as well. Uh, it was the middle of you know, February, so it was very, very cold. But I was doing the a workshop, I was preparing for the workshop, which was very, very successful. Um, it, was, it was great. So I actually went to Mexico not knowing Literally not knowing, like, why why am I here? You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was very interesting because until the end, I didn't know why, why I was here. But literally, five days before I, I leave Mexico, and I I was gonna, initially I was gonna go back to, I don't know, initially I was gonna go to Brazil and to experience Brazil because I've never been there. I'd love to go. And I was like, okay, I, why, why am I here? I don't know why I'm here. 
Um, but I was so busy because I was preparing for the workshop and I was initially supposed to do the workshop in from Mexico online. And then I was like, okay, let's go back to Miami. So I decided to not to go to Brazil, but I, go back, I decided to go back to Miami and decided to do the workshop from um, my friend's house because he's got everything and he was helping me out. And I booked a ticket and everything and a couple days before, my throat got sick and ill. So like I need to get a medicine and I need to get the antibiotics and stuff like that. But I don't speak Spanish. And in Mexico City, somebody that I knew actually from the owner of the MB helped me out and he literally just took care of me so well and introduced you know like took me to a hospital and everything so i was i was saved i started feeling better and then with him we started to talk about the plant medicine and you know the beautiful things and the journey and the spiritual awakening and etc and it was a beautiful conversation i was even even though i was really really sick and i couldn't even you know breathe very well but because of that i understood the reason that i came to mexico literally just three days before I leave Mexico and that was a great reminder for me that you know sometime you just don't know until they actually you know show you what it was about and what is the reason and what is the lesson a lot of us are so ungrateful and arrogant you know even though you might deny oh I'm I'm, I'm so grateful and I'm, I'm not arrogant but most of the time we are I think we're just so we just that's that's who we are that's how you know the human beings are but our job is to to be grateful consciously by your effort and to really find happiness like a little rocks on the street rather than trying to find a diamond on the street I think a lot of people are trying to find a diamond on the street, you know, walking down path, walking down the street from your house to the convenience store or the daily supermarket. And the people are trying to find a diamond and gold. And I think our journey is to be grateful enough consciously so that we can find these little boring, ordinary rocks and see the beauty of it. Most of the time, there's some significant, stunning experience that happens that really changes your life or, you know, like shows you this is a turning point of your life it won't show you until the end and then until the end you'll be tested to be able to if you whether you can have a glimpse of what it is about or what it was about and then if you can be grateful for the fact that you went through a bit of struggle or you've been uh, you went through a bit of like confusion or uncertainty and fear and you, initially the, the end of the journey, you would be tested in that way. So I'm so happy when things are uncertain. I'm really excited when things are uncertain. I'm really like enthusiastic when things are uncertain because I know the fact that the things will be changed. Like I can literally just see my reality is bending in front of my eyes. And I know it sounds crazy. Like if you know the, the movie called Inception, that's what I'm experiencing on a daily basis. I'm like, wow. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the scene that the, the, the whole city goes up and, you know, becomes a sky. Obviously, not the exact same thing doesn't happen in my reality, but literally, I can see that the reality is shifting and bending like that. And most of the time, when that thing's in happening, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of confusion, a lot of stress and frustration kicks in because imagine your whole fucking world is changing and it is inevitable that you feel very stressed and you feel like like something is happening but because of that i feel so fucking excited i'm like okay let's get it it's about to change baby so that's that's something that i have been experiencing very very strongly the quantum leaps and you know like observing my reality is bending literally in front of my eyes all the time and con deconstructing the idea of my reality or the shape of the reality. Always, there's always a great reminder. The greatest reminder of all is you know nothing. And that, it's not a negative message. Like I'm, I'm so grateful the fact that I learn a lot and I get exposed 
to to the bigger scale of life or like the, the, the power the actual power of this the whole universe and life and no and then learning again the fact that I know nothing and obviously obviously if, if I learn ABC I don't know D and when I learn D and I'm like hmm now I know D. I know A, B, C, D. Yeah, baby. And then you get exposed to the F and then you'll be like, oh, wait, I skipped the E. The E and a boom. Yo, there's E. Damn. But if you feel like, okay, I learned, I learned something better and I feel like I'm better. Better than yesterday and I feel like I'm, I'm bigger as a person. And then you, boom, expose F and G, H, I, J. And then you'll be like, wow. I know the alphabet has an ending, right? Alphabet has, you know, has an ending as you reach the Z. But in, in this whole world, there's no limitation. It's like numbers, it just keeps going. And then the things that doesn't have a limitation, it's, it's a never ending story. What people don't understand is knowing it's beyond time and space. As I told you about the mushroom a little bit before, mushroom carries the data and an experience like a DNA. And these little things that we cannot see actually carries the information and data. And what if that's the thing, that's the one that we are tapping into as an idea, new ideas and new concept that gives us like, that's it, the new business idea or, or the new idea that can, you know, guide you to a, to a new path. What if it's already exists, but it's beyond time and space and we are not the one that owns that idea. We are the one who's allowed to borrow that idea from somebody else or something else beyond. So I believe, I absolutely believe that knowing is beyond time and space. So the reason why I'm talking about this power of knowing is because you need to utilize this. You need to utilize the power of knowing instead of believing. Because a lot of people fail to establish a new belief. Even though if you can bring yourself up to believe, as Napoleon Hill said in the, in the book called Think and Grow Rich, if you can bring yourself up to believe that you can do it, it will be manifested into your reality. And I believe that 100%. But I'm not going to reject that idea, but I, if I want to twist it into my way, as I explained the idea that I borrowed from Beyond Time and Space, you have to bring yourself up to know that you have done it in the future. If you know something beyond time and space, then you know, because you do know. But in, in the human world, in human reality, in human society, the knowing is, re requires the physical evidence or you know, article, like something that actually proves that you do know. You, know, you, need, a, you need evidence, whether it's a physical, whether you know, ability to, to show. But if you completely aligned, and if you really do see the future and in yourself and the depth of depth of vision with the depths of vision then you know and I think it's been pretty amazing so far I mean all my you know beautiful babies are sunbathing this one doesn't have to but these bad boys are so huge and there's a banana tree and uh, I don't know you can see this is a huge fucking tree right there there's a coffee right there and there's a monster and anyway I'm not a superstar, I'm not the main character, I'm not the protagonist. These babies are, because these baby has to be on my YouTube channel and sit there with me and in like one hour and me talking and listening and has to be cool as hell. They deserve a sun baby. So they're just chilling because they're a superstar. I'm just, I'm just a little extra, you know, drinking matcha and shit. Oh, huge news by the way i completely forgot to to share with everyone because i was gonna make a video properly like i will make a video about this only about this topic but i was vegan for three years strictly vegan i was debating with myself that whether i should stop three years or five years but i was in costa rica it was end of the december which was uh, more than six months ago but i decided to start eating fish because in my mind back then Okay, you know what? I think I've done well, and then it was a very interesting a journey. It was very, it was not easy at the beginning. It was not easy to actually build muscle because when I was a vegan, and I built uh, quite a huge body tr transformation as well. And it was not easy, like because it was so hard to 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 build muscle 
uh, with my body type and being vegan. So it was a really great journey for me to, to stay disciplined and really work hard on my body transformation. But yeah, and then I started eating fish and it was, it was great when I was back in Japan and I could eat sushi and it was like, oh my God, it was so amazing. But recently I did the dry fast for three days, which is basically 72 hours, no food, no water. And I was inspired when I was in Costa Rica and it was, you know, I know the fact that stepping into those kind of challenges can be very difficult, but I was like, you know what, I think I need to challenge myself to do this because I've done the, the water fasting before a couple of times. So I was like, you know what, it sounds very difficult, so I want to do it. So I did the dry fast for 72 hours and it was pretty intense, like the fast time, it was really, really intense, but I'm glad I did it. You know, there was this huge healing journey as well and the DMT activation at the end. And that was a beautiful experience and it definitely something has been changed within me. And that was part of the, you know, the reality bending journey. And it was very interesting because end of the day, like, like literally just a couple of hours before, I was like a walking dead zombie. I was just like walking like a zombie. And it was so difficult for me to even, you know, walk properly. And I feel like I need to eat meat. Like my body starts to crave the high calorie meat. And you know, I've been vegan for three years and also the six months pescatarian, I was eating fish and eggs and etc. And I never felt like I'm gonna eat meat again. I wasn't thinking about it. I wasn't expecting myself to say that or feel that way. And I literally meditated on it and I thought about it very well. Do I want to, do I want to eat or is it just me, my ego holding myself back from eating meat because I've done veganism. So my ego was kind of like holding me back from eating meat again. But I understood that point that I was also animal too. And I was like, wow, like I really need to eat meat. And I think it's also gonna be a challenge for me to actually change that, make a different decision. And then who I have been for the last three years and plus to become somebody new. And that was a very, important decision for me so i thought about it very well and then i decided to eat meat and it was a f it was fantastic and since then i'm actually been eating meat so my body and my energy and everything is it's completely different and i do believe that i made a couple videos about you know me talking about quitting meat and stuff like that and i'm not gonna lie and i'm not gonna shame the bit but i believed certain things back then and i believed that I wanted to be dedicated to what I say. So I was doing my best to share the benefits and a great experience, but I also experienced the, the eating meat again and building muscle has been amazing. That's some huge change in in last couple months. What is this? Hold on one second. It might be my helmet. Because I ordered another one. あ、もしもし。はい。今お電話いただいたんですけれども、あの、レッドバロンさんとこだったらたぶんヘルメットを出したね、元なんですけども。あ、わかりました。そしたら、え、教授に取りに行きます。I get the new helmet, baby. Let's get it. Anyway, I do really want to know if you guys like this kind of style, just me, you know, chatting and sipping some matcha together and then you guys can prepare coffee or tea. Anyway, Please let me know if you do like these kind of style and then let me know in the comments and maybe, you know, I can make it better or maybe we can together come up some ideas and some cool ideas that we can do a series and I'm open to it. So let me know in the comments and with the said, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. If you like that, make sure to subscribe to the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.